What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk with you about a fight that just happened in Japan which you may or may not be aware of. Probably the biggest kickboxing fight in the history of the sport in terms of numbers, pay-per-view sales, in terms of how many people were in the stadium. Dollar-wise, this fight was crazy and many of you, because it was in Japan and kickboxing in Japan or the Japanese kickboxing is not as you know, pronounced as it once was in North America, you may not have heard of it. If you're a massive fan, you obviously did. But I wanna talk about the numbers that this thing did. Because previously, oh, and by the way, the fight we're talking about is Tension versus Takaru. Takaru is a K1 champion, like I believe undefeated. Both these fighters were undefeated. Undefeated in K1, I think jumped a decent amount of weight classes, just a spectacular uh, fighter at 58 kilos, I believe. And then Tension, as many of you know, fought Floyd Mayweather in an exhibition. Now he has been fighting for Ryzen, and these two Japanese fighters never met up because they were fighting for different promotions. So they made this neutral event and managed to just do crazy numbers. Now before this, the biggest financial numbers that I've ever heard of fighters getting was when was when uh, Giorgio Petrosian fought for 1FC. When he fought for 1FC, they did an eight-man tournament with a $1 million grand prize. That is crazy, but there's never numbers released on how many people were in attendance, how many tickets were sold, all that kind of stuff it is just usually fairly quiet. K1 used to announce their numbers and would say something like on a dynamite event, they'd have 80,000 people in attendance or K1 Grand Prix, they'd have 50,000 people. And those fights were aired on TV, but there were never pay-per-view numbers like there were for Tension versus Takaru. So let's talk about those right now. The first thing that I wanna say, which is just big numbers. And keep in mind, this is only kickboxing. This is not some other event where, or some other fighters where you know there's MMA and then they just have kickboxing tacked onto the side. This was all about tension versus Takaru. One massive fight, there were obviously other fights, but one massive fight with two small fighters. That's crazy. These guys at 58 kilos, that is small. And to draw this type of attention shows still that kickboxing can be a massive sport in Japan and hopefully in other spots around the world. So how many people showed up for this event? I have everything written down here. Apparently 56,399 people showing up paying for tickets at this event. Now let's talk about how much tickets cost because you might be going, okay, yeah, well, it's Japan. Maybe they're only like $25 a ticket. Apparently the highest ticket price was 25 grand. Obviously being up in the nosebleeds would probably be more like 50 or something. But when you start adding up those numbers, 56,000. 56,000 ticket sales with them being 25,000 at the most, that is crazy. Those are massive, massive numbers. Lots of money bought, brought in. But then we have pay-per-view. For the pay-per-view sales, they did 500,000. Now, it would have apparently been on TV normally, and there was apparently some ties between the Yakuza and the promotion in the end, so they, they lost their, their TV stuff, but I guess, you know, who really cares? Because ultimately, well, they, they probably care, but ultimately, how much money was brought in? It was announced at the end of the event, the estimate, $25 million was the estimate between pay-per-view sales and ticket sales. That is a crazy, crazy number for kickboxing, keep in mind. So what I'm hoping is both these fighters, Takaru and Tension, managed to sign and get some massive money for this fight. Because when you're doing that type of attention, you have that type of fanfare, and just people wanting to see you fight, you should be getting massive money. To me, this shows that there is still a space for kickboxing to be a massive sport, especially in Japan, because back in the day, uh, Japan was the hub for kickboxing. And then again, K1 sort of slumped under with its Yakuza ties and a number of other things. I mean, it just it is so sad to see it go, but hopefully somebody can end up picking up and bringing kickboxing back to Japan because there's a market for it. 
when you can do 56,000 people in an arena and 500,000 pay-per-view sales, you know there's a market for it. That is wild. And that's not bringing in people from North America, really. Those are mostly, mostly, sorry, probably the Japanese fans and other fans from countries surrounding there making the trip over. So I just wanted you guys to know about that. I wanted you to be aware that this event happened. Hopefully you can find it online if you send, search for tension versus takaru hopefully there's some video footage definitely worth checking out i don't want to spoil what happened i know what happened but i have not even seen footage myself yet so good luck in your search in finding this fight million dollar fight 25 million dollar fight which is just wild for kickboxing and gets my hopes up that in the future we will see some fighters who can deliver massive crowds, massive pay-per-view, and make some money themselves. Hope you guys enjoyed this little breakdown of Tension versus Takaru and the money involved. I just was sitting in my hotel room on fight week and went, you know what? I don't have too much to do. I might as well tell you guys about this because I found it very interesting. I will be back throughout the week with lots of YouTube shorts to keep you up to date with what's happening as I continue to prep for my fight, do the weight cut, lead up to the actual Karate Combat debut. I'll see you guys back here very soon.